Hey guys, so today I'm doing this big brown smoky eye just in time for Thanksgiving. Um, I think it's kind of like a sultry, dark type of look. But I really like it. I went a little bit higher in the crease than what I'm usually comfortable with. Um, just paired it with a nude lift, very wearable for wherever, whatever you're doing. And definitely some warm colors for fall. So if you like it, just keep on watching. All right, so I've already washed my face and I moisturized my face. And this one is actually from Walmart, but it's the only thing that doesn't make my face break out. So now I'm going to put on a primer before I put on my foundation. And my favorite is Pores No More. And it's by Dr. Brandt. It's expensive. But it really like fills in the pores. And I feel like even places that like I have pimples and stuff like that, it'll just kind of help to smooth over the surface. Okay, so I'm going to use L'Oreal True Match Lumi in Warm. Warm 5. really tan. It looks like I have a mustache right now. <laughs> I have to be so careful about my hairline sometimes because my hair is so like white. It'll have like an orange ring. I kind of use a lot of this in my t-zone just because I have some pimples right there and just need to layer it. This is definitely a buildable foundation. It's got like a, like a glowy finish. I like it, but not everybody likes it. It's kind of got definitely a full coverage feel. So if that's what you want, it's definitely good. But it's it's been my favorite for years just because it'll fucking cover anything. My ear. Bring it all the way down. Just bring it down. Huh, I guess I'm kind of tan. I forget how tan I am. Okay. We'll go ahead and do some concealer. Um, I personally have like some purple, I don't know, lines underneath my eyes right here. And I feel like even sometimes with certain concealers, you can just still see it. So the only concealer that really works for me for the maximum amount of coverage is the It Cosmetics Spy by Under Eye but it's kind of dangerous to use that in large areas. I used to use it all as a highlight and everything too, but um, like in person, it just doesn't look like skin. So I'm only gonna use it where I have to conceal. I'm just gonna take a little bit, good shade, it's really white, it's really white. Okay, I mean, it's a decent amount. Not as much concealer as I need though. Max Select Cover Up in NW15. Uh, it's light coverage in my opinion, buildable I guess, but good for areas that you wanna look, you know, more like skin. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on a beauty blender. I am gonna put, I don't wanna put it on my pimples right here, but I'm gonna put like a little bit up here just to highlight my forehead, cause my forehead's kinda small and I want it to seem larger. I have to be careful with contouring and bronzing on my forehead just because I don't have a large forehead per se and I can contour it away. So <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little bit of highlight a little bit right there, a little bit right there. I'm gonna take my foundation beauty blender. I have two beauty blenders, one for foundation and one concealer. Just works out better that way. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of RMCA no color powder, great setting powder. I used Lori Mercier one for a long time. I like it. Um, I always felt a little bit crepey and this one doesn't do that. So I like it better. They're both great powders, but this one's better in my opinion. And it's like, I don't know, like what? To, uh, like half the price, Le way less, than, maybe less than half. I don't remember, but it's like way, way cheaper. And you get this humongous container. So right now I'm just putting this powder and I'm kind of like pushing it in spots to make the concealer set. And then after that, I'm gonna go in and we're gonna bake our lives away. And I'm gonna use one of these. Uh, a lot of people use their actual sponges, that's awesome. I really like these sponges, like these in particular. You just buy them in like, I don't know, a big pack from Walgreens or whatever. But because it has a flat surface, like it grabs more of the product evenly and then you can, you know. Usually I leave this on the whole time I do my eyes. Some people think that's excessive, but 
it catches all the fallout and I don't have no problem with it so I like it. it keeps my foundation in place however my forehead continues to crease and I need to definitely powder this this and your smile lines wherever you're gonna have creases on your face you want to make sure that you powder but right now I've already got some creasings going on up here so I'm just gonna pat that out it's my worry lines and then Put some of the RMCA no color powder up there again just to kind of set that in to make it stop creasing and I just kind of pat it in just to get it to stay that's fine now it looks like softer like skin like skin I'm just going to use my it cosmetics concealer as a base um, because it's so tacky that's what I usually do sometimes when I like I'm doing my under eyes I'll just bring it up with a sponge yeah. All right, don't close my eyes. Do not close them. You don't want to know what them creasing. All right, so I'm going to take that no color powder, shove it up there to keep it from creasing. And now we have a good base. I really kind of wanted to stick to just browns, but I feel like black might get involved eventually. Not quite sure how this is going to go, but we'll see. I always start with Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek. Um, I put it all over the lid just gives it a good base for everything to blend into. And I am using a MAC 224. So there's nothing particular about this. I'm just gonna put this all over the lid and under the eyebrow. And then I'm gonna use Creme Brulee, which is Creme Brulee and Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek. Those are like, it's like the main reason I make another order on the Makeup Geek website. It's like kind of like a mocha caramely shade, but it's just the perfect transition color. So I'm just going to put that in the crease. I think that I want this to be kind of really cut, you know? This is just, what is this? Pharmacy discount card? Whatever. Um, it's got a straight edge. It's more of a flexible type of situation, which are the best ones to use when you use this technique, but basically I'm creating the shape of my eyeshadow. And I kind of want it like that, and today I kind of want to do it real high. Not at all the time do I do eyeshadow that's real high in this area, just because it depends on what type of mood I'm in, honestly. So I'm just going to like hold this here, not too hard against your skin, and just catch that corner right there. Ta-da! Alright, so I'm going to use... MAC Uninterrupted, it's a single shadow. Um, this is like, it's a good transition color too. It's kind of a orange type of situation. I'm just gonna put that over the creme brulee and see what happens. Just a little bit lower than the creme brulee because you want that to be the tallest shade in there. This is driving me insane. I have to kind of, uh, uh. Okay, all right, are these the same angle? Or do I look like, you know, <laughs> this is all with the same brush. This one looks so much better than that one. This one, I feel like I need to bring the angle from here to here. Now, it's harder to bring this angle in. If you feel like it needs to be in a little bit more, you can just use concealer to clean that up, I guess. But I feel like I want this one to be down a little bit more. You don't really have to do anything other than just setting it down just a little bit further and then placing more product right there. And it changes the angle. Especially you want to press it right here on the edge of this card. All right, so it's pretty high, pretty high up there. I'm just gonna use um, Beaches and Cream to blend it back down. It's, I mean, it's not too high. It just needs to be a little bit more blended right here. Ooh, ooh, how pretty. Okay, so I did a bunch of different swatches. Um, most of them are Makeup Geek. Uh, we got Americana, which comes off really red on camera for some reason. Uh, I've got a MAC Brown, a couple other Makeup Geeks, and the one that's the truest to a brown that I want on camera is this one right here. It just looks like the correct type of brown that I want. And this is a Maybelline shade, and it's 225S made for mocha. I think it'll be good for all over the lid. I'm not sure if I'm going to darken it up with a black yet. I may if I feel like it's not enough, but be honest, I want something that's really flat and big. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a packing brush. I'm going to take a MAC 239. 
And we're just gonna pack that all over the lid. All right, so right now it looks kind of terrible. That's just because I just put it on the lid and that's it. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a 217 and try to deepen the same shade, that Maybelline, right into the crease, just to bring it higher, but um, not to cover up all this orange work that we did. So it's gonna be a little bit of a tighter placement in there. I want it to like appear that my actual eyeball is bigger than it is. So we're gonna have like a, a fake crease right up here. One thing you want to do when you're doing your eyeshadow too is not don't always look at it just like this. You want to look at yourself like that so that you see how much it's going to show of this edge up here when you look straight forward and if they match on both sides. And I got some fallout going on, but my bake is catching it. Big brown smoky eye. It's kind of weird because, you know, you can make one really great eye, but the other eye is going to match too. So you're working with that too. So I'm going back in with the MAC Uninterrupted and just working it uh, in the transition between these two colors. It's so big. It's such a big brown smoky eye. It's big. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it's just not dark enough. Maybe, you know what, I'm gonna do it on this side too. Maybe that's what I'm missing. I need to bring it on this edge a little bit more. Is that what I'm missing? Oh, maybe, yes. Yes, I don't know. I might still do black. I might, I don't know, I haven't decided. I need black. I'm gonna use a packing brush. Uh, Urban Decay Blackout, in my opinion, is not the easiest to blend. The Black by Makeup Geek, Corrupt. Corrupt by Makeup Geek is much easier to blend. So if you're using a black and a crease, of any situation that you needed to transition out, use the Makeup Geek, Makeup Geek Corrupt. Um, but the Urban Decay is the blackest, in my opinion. But it doesn't blend out very well. But the place that I'm wanting to put it, which is like right, just, you know, right here, doesn't really need to blend too much. It's gonna have the dark brown around it. You know, he won't be able to tell. But if I was using a black in the crease, I would definitely use a Makeup Geek. So I'm just gonna take a packing brush again, um, MAC 239 and just put a little bit. Then I'm gonna take my favorite brow bone color, which is Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek, and I'm gonna place that as a brow bone highlight. I just take a pointed brush. Um, this one's by BH Cosmetics, it's a 118. I'm gonna curl my lashes and put on some mascara. I really didn't want to do this, but I'm just going to try the Iconics. I always do this to myself. Oh, they're so good. They're so big, though. Right, I'm going to wipe this bake off. So now we're going to smudge on the lower lash line. I'm going to take uh, approximately the same colors that we used on the top lid for transition colors and do it down here, too. All right, I'm going to grab a pencil brush by MAC. This is the 219. Now we're gonna put some mascara on those lower lashes. Well, I'm gonna be using Teddy Bear, which is one of my older favorite um, nudes, uh, Teddy Bear 29 by Milani. And then the other one is Matte Innocence. Now I'm gonna go around with Teddy Bear around the border. Okay, then we're gonna go on with this. bronzer. This is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Uh, who am I kidding? I'm using Luminoso by <laughs> Milani. Um, I'm insane. I use a very large brush for, <laughs> for blush. This is a G0 by, by Morphe. All right, so now I'm going to put on a highlight. I'm going to use um, one of my very favorite champagne pop, which is a Becca and Jaclyn Hill collaboration, and I'm going to use a Sony Kasha number 129 highlighting brush. I'm going to put a little bit on the cupid's bow.
I need to be to my nose. Hey guys, so I'm doing yeah, this. So ah, ma. All right. All right, let's bake the other ice. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ooh, ooh, that was a little bit too much right there. This is getting really high. Ooh. Oh, this vacuum is loud. Shit. <laughs> of all the times for the neighbor to vacuum. <laughs> 